XRP has something going for it that a lot of other cryptos don't. And guess what? You're part of it. We've also got Grayscale letting us know that Filecoin is a security. We also have Binance shutting down rails. That's right, keeping you out of crypto. But wait until you hear what country this is happening in. And we're also going to talk about XRP price action, which ties into the first point I made about XRP. We're going to start it off with a broad look at the market and macros that are going on and then finish up with juicy XRP stuff. Bitcoin sitting at 27,283 ETH, 1818, XRP 464 with XLM right now sitting at 8.8, .8, up 1.5% last 24 hours. Fed's Logan says the data doesn't support the case for the pause. That's right. The markets are starting to shift likelihood that the fed will raise rates right now is at 36.7 percent a lot of you out there are gonna be like yeah but klaus does that mean they're gonna take a pause it's not right now it's the shift in data because remember we still have how many more days 27 more days till the fed comes out but look at this line right here okay this is the line one week ago that said hey 89 percent of people out there one week ago were like yo they're gonna take a pause now that number has dropped 26% to 63%. So think of the massive amount of people, right? The traders that make money on this CME group that are now saying, hey, the Fed's gonna come at us with a rate hike. More rate hikes, bad for the economy, recession, you get it. That's global macros. What about the SEC? SEC says Filecoin is a security, asks Grayscale to retract their Filecoin Trust Form 10 application. According to a press release, Grayscale has decided to fight the SEC's decision, although the firm will comply if it cannot convince the regulatory entity. You're not going to convince Gary Gensler and the SEC because guess what? They just told you it's a security. Coinbase, what the hell is wrong with you? Grayscale does not believe that file is security under federal securities law and intends to respond promptly to the SEC staff with an explanation of the legal basis for Grayscale's position. Grayscale cannot predict whether the SEC staff will be persuaded that Grayscale's position is correct, and if not, whether it may become necessary for Grayscale to enable the trust to register under the ICA 1940. Alternatively, seek dissolution of the trust. So the SEC comes out and says Filecoin is security. Now remember, we were watching the hearing live. Remember what the congressman said? And in my opinion, Filecoin is not a security. Apparently, Gary Gensler doesn't give a shit about your opinion, and they're going after Filecoin. Here's that announcement from Grayscale, because as always, any article you see in this video, along with my Twitter information, will be linked in the description below. Binance problems in Australia. Yes, we have a lot of Aussie viewers here. Binance Australia loses access to some Aussie dollar payment routes. Rails, how do they keep you out of crypto? It's pretty simple. If you don't have money, you can't do it, right? Listen to this. We are working hard to find an alternative provider to continue offering AUD deposits and withdrawals to our users. This is from Binance Australia. Also on Thursday, Westpac Banking Corp, one of Australia's largest financial institutions, said it had begun trialing new customer protections for some cryptocurrency payments to reduce scam losses. So why did Westpac now yank the plug on Binance fiat action? They're trying to protect you from scams. There's so many scams out there in crypto that banks right now are telling you, no, you can't put your money into crypto exchanges because they're ridden with scams. We've seen this already in the UK and now we're seeing it in Australia. Digital exchanges have had a legitimate role to play in the financial ecosystem. But since the rise of digital currency, we've noticed that scammers are increasingly using overseas exchanges. So now the banks are trying to protect you by what? Telling you what you can't spend your money on. Okay. Here's that announcement from Binance Australia on Twitter. We get to inform you that with immediate effect, we are unable to facilitate pay ID AUD deposits for Binance users made by the decision by our third party payment service provider, aka the bank. We understand that from our third party service provider, that bank transfer withdrawals will also be impacted. We will advise you on timeline when this is confirmed. Another way they're keeping you out of crypto. Hey, I got something for you. Look what's trending right here with 391,000 tweets. It's XRP. What did I say at the beginning? XRP has something that most cryptos don't have. It's you. It's the community. You make things happen. Yes, it's not the business dealings. It's not no, it's you. You, the community. Now let's look at price action, all right? The community has popped up the price here on the announcement of the Hinman docs getting released. 
What about right here? You had the Asian market, right? And then the community rallied around that, popped the price of XRP up again. The community propped the price up over here with the summary judgment stuff. See my point here? There is a massive community with XRP. So massive. When I'm looking at this, 391,000 tweets. The power lies with you. Well, and me, because I'm part of it too. The power lies with us. We are the community. We are the ones responsible for driving the price engine. Business developments aren't doing it. Regs ain't coming soon. Court case, who the hell knows when that's going to be done. But the community is there and the community is strong. So pat yourself on the back if you're one of the many people out there on Twitter, any other the social media platforms out there rooting for XRP to make it. We want XRP to beat the court case with the SEC because that'll protect the rest of crypto. So yes, you are the reason for success. So keep that in mind. I did a story earlier about the Stellar community in Banningham. Low trading volume, no price pops, nothing, no mentions on social media, ghost town. So XRP community, hold strong because right now it's the communities that are making the difference, not the businesses.